Hi guys, it's Jody. Today's video, I want to bring back a color palette that I haven't used in a while and I want to do a transfer of bloom. So that's what we're going to do today. So let's go get started. All right, so we are going to go over the colors, the cell activator, and then the pillow, and then we'll get started painting. So the first color I have is my favorite color ever, the PBL Studio Acrylics Iridescent Blue Black. And got this mixed with my Valspar Verithane pouring medium mix. All of them except for the piggy that I'll show you are mixed with my Valspar uh, Verithane. The next color I have is Jo Sonia's Black Umber. I haven't used this in a while. And there's that one again, Valspar Verithane. And then I have a Jo Sonia's Dioxazine Purple. that one and then the piggy is this little piggy's pinwheel that's what it looks like in the container and then this one oops this one is mixed up with my dutch boy joe sonia pouring medium mix there's that and then my two cell activators i have i think i'm going to use both i wasn't sure if i was just going to use white or if i wanted to use white and gold and i'm still kind of thinking about it but I'll probably use both. Anyway, this is actually, they're both mixed uh, four to one, four parts Australian Floetrol, one part paint. And this is Atelier Interactive Titanium White. And then this is the gold that I like to use if you've been watching on my channel. I like to mix two golds for the one part paint. It is Atelier Interactive Pale Gold and PPO Studio Acrylics Precious Gold. And I just like the color that comes out from it. You totally don't have to use two paints. You can use one. It's personal preference. This is just what I like to use. Now, my pillow. I've got my PPG multi, multi, blah, 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 blah. <laughs> Start that one again, Jody. <laughs> I've got my PPG multi pro. I've got a full container of this guy here. So now I'm going to bring you over to the canvas and kind of explain what we're going to do. And then uh, we'll get started painting. So let's go get started. All right, for this piece, I have got a 16 by 16 canvas. This is a gallery wrap, uh, standard, but gallery wrap that I've taped up the back. And what I wanna do with that color palette, I, I haven't done that color palette in quite a while. I did it um, last year in a video. If I remember the number, I'll place it here. <laughs> I'll go look for it and uh, but I did kind of a circular swipe with it in that video. And I want to do a transfer bloom. I'm going to do, I think I'm going to do a couple of videos with this palette because I really love it. I mean, when you see it together, it's just gorgeous. But uh, this, this piece here today, we're going to do, I want to do a transfer bloom. So we're going to head on back over to the bench and we're going to use my board and we're going to blow out the bloom that we're going to make for this piece. I may or may not incorporate any palette knife swipes. I, I'm reserving judgment for that. Uh, when I see how the transfers are laid out. So let's go back over to the bench now. All right, I've got you at a different angle today. I just thought it would be easier since this is lower. I usually, when we're doing canvases over here, I'll have my uh, my spinner that I like to use on my bench, but I just figured this, might, this angle might be a little bit better. So we're gonna add the pillow. I think that should be enough. put down the black umber first right here. Okay, that should be good. And then I think I'm gonna put a little bit of the pinwheel. I'm gonna put the pin pinwheel in a couple places, but we're gonna put it here first. And then we've got the blue black. And I'm gonna add just a little bit more of the pinwheel. The pinwheel and the blue black have kind of the same, that same kind of violet blue undertone. I just love them together. And we're gonna finish it off with the dioxazine purple. Mm 
a little bit more. Being a little bit messy here, but that's okay. And I think I'm gonna use both cell activators. I'm gonna put the gold down first. That should be enough. And then we'll put down the white. Okay, let's blow this out. My straw needs help. All right, we'll let that fill in. I'm gonna make a few little modifications. Whew, that looks gorgeous. I'm just gonna do a few quick little modifications just because they do transfer over nicely. fun. I'm going to let this kind of come up and develop a little bit more and I'm going to meet you over at the spinner box and we're going to get this transferred over. All right, here's what we got. This filled in really nicely. This is going to be so neat. So I'm just going to start grabbing and putting it on there. that looks like. All right, I want to give this a spin and then we'll go from there and see if I need to add anything or modify anything. Ooh, that is so cool opening up nicely, really nice. Oh, it looks like, it looks kind of like a galaxy within a little bit. This is so cool. All right, still needs. I don't think I want to do anything with it. I think I like it just how it is. I want to go this way a little bit. I'm going to want to try and get some more off up here. There we go. I want, to, I want the middle to open up just a little bit more. Boy, I can see the, the shimmers in there. It's going to dry really neat.
digging all the layers in there. I don't think I want to add anything else. I don't, I don't need a lot of cells in here because when this dries, that blue black is really gonna come through. spin it that way just a little I want just a little bit more taken off up there being picky there that's it I'm done I'm leaving it alone this is exactly how I want it <laughs> I am loving the flow of it and the way the the, the movement is uh, I know that this uh, the blue black is really gonna shine through when uh, when this dries I'm excited to see that so this is a winner winner chicken dinner I am going to get cleaned up and I'll bring you over for the flyover this is absolutely crazy <laughs> I didn't get a lot of cells and some of them are actually disintegrating, but I'm kind of digging the look. I, I'm i really digging the movement, so I'm letting it live and I want to see the blue black coming out in this piece. And I've got some ideas if it doesn't dry very well, but look at that right in there. That's what I'm hoping for. All those little sneaky peeks of that, uh, that blue black. Let's see, some of these are, I hope, I mean, these are cool. If it stays that way, I love when uh, the selves kind of look like threads. I had a few down over here that kind of moved around, so I embellished a little bit, but, and I love this little spiral in there. I mean, it's like a little vortex within a little, like a purple galaxy. <laughs> I'm not quite sure what I'm going to call it yet, but... I'm totally digging all the shimmer, so I'm going to let it live, and I may actually enhance it with some uh, markers when it dries. So I'm excited to see how this dries. So I'll be back once it's dried to show you the dried results. I've actually got you outside today because I wanted to take advantage of the sunlight and that blue-black shimmers in here. I love this piece so much. <laughs> <laughs> not only the purple, but the blue, black, and the movement. You know, not a lot of cells. I, you know, uh, this. I love this area right in here, and this over here, and this spiral. My cells down here kind of disintegrated a little bit, but just the flow of this piece. It's just, oh, man. But check out the blue, black in there. I mean, it's almost epic. <laughs> I love this color palette. So, so, so cool. This is, this is why I wanted to bring you outside and kind of show you all those really cool shimmers in there. And the sun is shining right on it. That's my favorite orientation. I'm not gonna flip them around. I'm just gonna flip you around and give you my final thoughts on this piece. The sun was shining in full force. I really wanted to take advantage and kind of show you. It looks a little dark here. It looks so much lighter outside. And I, I wanted to see some those really nice shimmers with that blue-black. That blue-black just does not disappoint. Say that three times. Blue-black, blue-black, blue-black. <laughs> I'm definitely going to do a bloom with this now because I really liked what, uh, what blew out on the board earlier in this uh, when we were doing the transfer bloom for this. So... We're not gonna do that next, but we might do that soon. So I would love to hear what you thought of this piece. I know it's pretty chaotic. It might not be for everyone, but I absolutely love it. So, so let me know what you thought in the comments below. I'd love to hear your thoughts on this piece. So with that, thank you so much for watching. Please like, share, and subscribe. I'll see you guys next time.